marry, sir? I am married, sir. Somebody big, somebody German. Children, what about? I am married, sir. Not without my say so! And I do not say so. I will not say so. You are not married, sir. <coughs> if you have a cough, sir, take it outside. Put her away, sir. Your debts will be paid, and you will have an income that is appropriate. Is it any wonder a man goes mad? Doctors, 30 guineas a visit and traveling expenses. For six months torture. They would have a man pay for his own execution, what, what? How much is he getting? An annuity. A thousand pounds a year, sir. Well, he has done me some service. I think it is time has done you the service, sir. Yes? Hmm, but uh, what of the colonies, Mr. Pitt? America is now a nation, sir. Well, oh. we must get used to it. I have known stranger things. I once saw a sheep with five legs. Sacked! Jesus. And me. Forget what you've seen. Majesty in its small clothes. Wipe it from your memory. He was ill, we knew that. Yes. And now he's well. Here. Me too. I'm no longer in service. You were kind to His Majesty during his illness, Grebel. <laughs> I did what I could, Captain Fitzroy. Colonel Fitzroy. Did you not know that? It seems unfair, I agree, but a word of advice. To be kind does not commend you to kings. They see it as they see any flow of feeling as a liberty. A blind eye will serve you better. And you will travel further. But His Majesty has yet to return, Mr. Greville. I'm to leave tomorrow. Yes. You knew? It's a pity you seem such a promising young man. <laughs> 